Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you about the trig function values hand trick. In this lesson, you're going to learn a super simple way to find the values of all the special angles on the unit circle. In order to do that, hold up your hand just like you see here, and let's pretend like it is marked up like this. With your thumb being zero degrees, your pointer finger is 30 degrees, your middle finger represents 45 degrees, the ring finger is 60 degrees, and the pinky is 90 degrees. Now, whichever finger we want to find, or whichever angle we want to find the values for, we're gonna bend down that finger. So let's start with our 30 degree pointer finger. If we bend down our pointer finger like we see here, then the number of fingers to the left is gonna represent sine, and the number of fingers to the right is gonna represent cosine. So let me write that down. Sine will be the number of fingers to the left. Cosine is the number of fingers to the right. And we're also going to use this, square root over two. Now we fill this in depending on however many fingers we have. So for the sine of 30 degrees, like I said, we use the number of fingers to the left. So there's one finger to the left of the finger that's bent down. So we would put a one in this square root over two. So the square root of one over two, the square root of one is just one, so we would get one half. So that means the value of the sine of 30 degrees is one half. For cosine of 30 degrees, we do the same thing, only we use the number of fingers to the right. So since there are three fingers to the right, we would put three under the radical over two. So the value of the cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of three over two. Now for tangent, we don't use that square root over two. For tangent, it's just gonna be the square root of the number of fingers to the left over the square root of the number of fingers to the right. So in this case, for the tangent of 30 degrees, the number of fingers to the left is one, so it would be the square root of one over, there's three to the right, so the square root of three. Again, the square root of one is one, so that would be one over the square root of three, but we have to rationalize and we would get the square root of three over three for tangent. Now let's try a 45 degree angle. Okay, here we've bent down our finger that represents 45 degrees. And we're going to look to the left to get the sine of 45 degrees. The sine of 45 degrees is the square root of the number of fingers to the left over 2. And that won't reduce. Our radical is in the numerator, so we're good. The sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2. The cosine of 45 degrees is the square root of the number of fingers to the right over 2. And then tangent of 45 degrees is the square root of the number of fingers to the left over the square root of the number of fingers to the right, and that just, that would reduce to one. Now let's look at the angles, the trig function values for a 60 degree angle. So if we bend down our ring finger, the number of fingers to the left, that's going to represent sine. So the sine of 60 degrees would be the square root of 3 over 2. The cosine of 60 degrees is the square root of the number of fingers to the right over 2. And that would simplify to 1 half. And then tangent of 60 degrees is the square root of the left over the square root of the right, and that would simplify to the square root of three. And that's how we use the hand trick to find all of our special angle trig function values.